Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Carmen and today I'm going to be working on the laundry room. We're super excited because it's going to be our first project in our new house. So we're a little bit nervous, but excited at the same time to start with this project. It's going to be a big transformation. Uh, I'm going to start with the design part and I'm going to show you the whole process, how uh, we did this. And please don't forget to subscribe if you like this uh, video and give it thumbs up and comment. Uh, if you have any questions, I'll be happy to answer. So let's start with this big project. I'm super excited. This is how the laundry room looks right now. The plans that we have for this room is to update the appliances, paint the walls a lighter color, and remove the, these ugly floors and put just a new tiles, and also paint the um, cabinets a different color. And the utility room is inside of the laundry room, so we're going to be updating this um, closet too. And usually when I start, uh, with the renovation. I use I designed the room first. I use a mood board to do that. That way I can put everything together and kind of help me to see how everything is going to look like. Demo day! Woo! <laughs> <laughs> now we <sighs> He thinks this is hard. This is super easy. What happened to Papa? Can I pass up, Papi? Yeah? I think I'm going to have a bigger struggle if I have to remove this. I don't know why. So I'm just taking off the screws. Okay. Because I have a drill. You like that drill? Oh, yeah. It's the best thing I've done since I married you. <laughs> oh, this is going to be a long day. Yeah. <laughs> and while Julio was finishing up removing the old uh, tile floors from the um, laundry room, I was working with the cabinet door. The first thing I did is apply some wood filler to remove the grain from the old cabinets. And I also apply some primer uh, and I sand it down between primers to give it a more professional and smooth finish to the doors. Uh, if you never watch any uh, of my videos on how to paint cabinets, you can go watch it uh, later on and I explain everything in details on how to do it and all the materials that I use. After my husband was done removing the old tile floor, he started preparing the room for the paint. He used a paintbrush, a spray gun, and also his music to finish this job. After he finished painting the room, I started painting the frames of the cabinets. I applied some wood filler, primer, sanding down, and then the paint. And after I was done uh, painting the frames, I didn't paint the inside, the box, because I usually don't paint the inside, but these ones are so dark, I decided to go ahead and paint it white, and I love it. I'm glad I made that decision. type of um, tile that we're going to use for the floors for the laundry room and this is some of the materials that we're going to use a sponge for the ground and we don't have too much time so we're going to use the pre-mix motor to place the um, tile and also the pre-mix ground for the tile they're both white and of course you're going to do this for the ground and this instrument to place uh, the motor and a bucket and a sponge very easy and simple so the first thing he did is applying the motor to the floor and after uh, he applied that, we start placing the tiles on top of this material. And uh, we didn't remove the baseboard. I didn't want him to remove the baseboard, so he had to do 
extra work because now he had to cut all these little pieces that go around the baseboard, which it took him a long time to do it. So next time I would pick something bigger because it took a lot of time to cut all these little pieces that go around the baseboard. That was the more difficult part to do of this project. These are the little pieces that I'm telling you about it. So next time I will make sure make his life easier and pick something bigger than this. But um, this was, for us, was the more difficult um, project that we did. Uh, but we're glad we did it because we love the new floors. So before I went and, um, before I had a saw, I went to Home Depot or Lowe's and I had these measured and cut. So that way I can go ahead and place them so I can put the butcher block on top. First thing I did, I used a stud finder which I just bought one and I just found the studs. Um, just follow the direction that tells you how to find the studs. Then I mark where all the studs are. And then I just had a, I just bought a little fancy um, level. That way um, I can pretty much just use like a ruler and just mark everything to the height that I want to put these. So this is what's going to hold the butcher block. This one here. Back over here, and then another one over there, and then I have to cut the butcher block so I can put it on top of on top of the uh, washer and dryer. And what kind of nails are you going to use for it? I got like really long nails, just pretty much for this type of stuff. Um, you can find that on Lowe's or Home Depot. Doesn't matter. How about a eight by three drywall screws? Yes. Okay. Some of the longest stuff they had, and so that way it can penetrate deep. And so, if you can see my marks here in the walls, that's basically where the studs are from here to here, um, from here to here, and so on. There's one here, one here, one here, there. You guys get the concept. And, so, and basically, this is all you need. This, the, how do you call this? This is a stud finder. And you can you just like, for, for example, this one you just press on the on button, you leave it press okay. it against the wall and you kind of calibrate it like that, just moving it. And then once it hits the corner of the stud or the border, it, it turns on and then you keep going. Wait, let me try it again. All stud, all stud, done. So if you go back. So it starts here and ends around here. So you make your marks, basically. And how do you use the other um, the label? This is just this is a little fancy one, so I didn't have to hold anything. This is the level. This is a regular a level that you just hold. This one you can just turn it on, put it against the wall, and it kind of like it suctions to the wall, so it sticks to the wall. Once I turn it on. You see? And then you just align the little bubble. So the bubble's not aligned there, you kind of just, you know, use it like a level. You make it center. And then once you have it to the height, let's say, hypothetically speaking, that this is the height that we want. That's it. So you have a, basically a laser bubble. Okay, so we're ready to start with this next part. I got this one from Magnolia Home. You know, I love Joanna. 
and I got it from Target. Target is selling all her stuff, so I'm obsessed with Target and Magnolia um, homes. Um, so I love this paper. I like this. So I'm going to place this one just in the back area. So I'm going to show you how I'm going to do it, okay? All you need some scissors and just do it. It's very easy to glue all paper. And the new ones are very easy to remove too compared to the old ones. So let's do it. After you do all the measurements and cutting all the papers, you can spray a little bit of water in the back of the paper and let it sit for two minutes and then you can start placing the paper in the wall. And this is the end result. You see how nice the paper look in the back. Now this room is uh, complete, ready for um, decoration. So we can start placing all of the stuff that are going to be on top of the butcher block. Hello guys, how are you? I um, hope you like the renovations. Uh, so we basically remodeled the whole laundry room and um, just want to go ahead and put out a disclaimer out there that we're no contractors, we're just regular people that bought our home and... We want to make our home beautiful. Yeah, special to us. So, you know, we're just doing it ourselves as much as we can. I'm sure yeah. there'll be things that we won't be able to do ourselves. Yeah. yeah. But we try to do our best. It's a lot of hard work, but the end result. Uh, it's worth it. Um, I hope you guys liked it. Um, we did what we could. Um, as you can see, if we did it, you can you do, it. do it. Yeah. It yeah, just takes preparation, time, uh, a, lot videos, of, uh, uh, a lot of a lot of hard videos, work. Yeah. I'm not going to lie, it's hard. It's a lot of work, but at the end result, like you see, I love this laundry room. It's a place that I can see myself doing laundry and be happy about it because we spend a lot of time in our laundry room. Yeah. And um, it's also a functional room. I have everything that I have here I'm going to use. It's organized. So I'm going to make another video how to, uh, to show you how to organize the laundry room and decorate. That's a different one that I'm going to show you. I prepared that one differently. And please don't forget, if you like this video, to subscribe comment and like this video and we we'll see you for the next one.
Yeah, and if you don't feel like you can spend any time in here, um, just go to put your laundry in and just walk out. Come back <laughs> later and pick it up. <laughs> Bye. Right, guys, thank, thank you so, you so much. much. And we'll see you next time. Bye. Bye.